Look at her. Look at this color. Guys, do you see it? Do you see how gorgeous this is? Welcome back to my channel. I am Nikki and I am so very very happy you are here. If this is your first time, I'm just gonna just get right to it instead of beating around the bush. Subscribe, click the button, join the party, and make sure you also click that little bell because I never know when I'm going to surprise you with an upload and I would hate for you to miss one. Especially if you love wig reviews, that is what I pretty much bring to you. So yeah, just subscribe problem solved. And if you already have, thank you so very much. I greatly do appreciate it. Now, of course, I'm reviewing a wig today. It's this one, of course, too. Now, obviously, I don't do the installation on camera. I just feel I would rather stick to just telling you about the unit because if you wear wigs, you already know how to install them. But if by some chance you don't, don't worry. There are plenty of other videos out there that can help you with that. I would just rather not waste the time and tell you what you need to know. And that's exactly what I do. I tell you all the details that you need to know. And in return, please go down in the comments and give me your respectful feedback. I also do take requests. So if there's one you'd like me to review, let me know and I'll happily look into it for you. But yeah, that's my little intro that I always do. So we might as well just get on with it. And of course, I always first show you what I'm wearing for my eyeshadow look. Today, I am wearing the Morphe uh, Boss Mood Palette. Here's those shades. Uh, I actually just recently wore this the other day, but it's a fun palette. And also, I am wearing this Diamond Glazed Liquid Eyeshadow from Moira, and it is in the shade Gold Star. Okay. So that's what's on my face, what's on my head here. This wig is from the same collection I just reviewed yesterday and I am talking about main concept. Today I have the style Aries. Uh, she is from the It's Your Lucky Day collection which is revolved all around the zodiac signs and she is an HD lace front. I have her in the color Sun Haze. That's this color you see right there. Naturally, she's available in a few other colors. That's pretty standard. But I want to point out this color right here is called Black Violet. I just might have to go back and get that color too. <laughs> so anyway, she has a four inch deep parting space with baby hair. And on the back here, they tell you a little bit about the sign. And I think it's a lot of fun. I did it last time and I'm going to do it again. So for Aries, March 21st through April 19th. And it says Aries lucky colors are red, orange, and purple. This reflects Aries passion and tireless disposition. As the leader of the 12 constellations, Aries has a personality that attracts people's attention. So this gorgeously colored inverted bold bob suits Aries. I think that's pretty cool. Uh, she is also heat safe and I picked her up from Elevate Styles for $35.88. And also once again, they included this card that shows you all of the styles for all of the other zodiac signs. I am a Taurus. If you'd like to see me review Taurus or if you'd like me to review your sign, let me know and I'll look into it. Uh, so anyway, here she is. She's a bob. Oh, I love bobs. I just think they're so versatile and easy to manage. And plus, if you're on the go and in a rush and just really don't know what wig to wear, you can't go wrong with a bob. You really can't. So I really love them, but it 
it's honestly true that I haven't reviewed one in a while just because I have so many already and we all know that bobs are pretty much all the same. Now, of course, there's some slight differences, but bobs are bobs. Just like some straight units, they're pretty much all the same too. And that's why I'm pretty much sticking to just the wavy and curly units, even though they sometimes will have some similarities, but just not quite the same. But I had to get this one. I just had to. Look at her. Look at this color. Guys, do you see it? Do you see how gorgeous this is? I feel so happy. I mean, it's snowing here today. The other day it was 75 degrees and now it's snowing because that's Wisconsin weather for you. So I am not happy about that, but this wig makes me happy like a sunshiny day. I mean, come on. Look at it. Oh, I am so in love with this color because it's vibrant and it pops, but it's not super overwhelming. It's just more like, hey, how are you? Look at me. I'm so happy. This is the vibe I am getting from it. And not only that, but this blend. Oh, it looks so professional. I love how you have it longer and popping right here around the face. And then you can see that professional blend. It looks so amazing. And then, of course, this color, too, though, just to look at it, it's got that copper, a little bit of 613 to come up with that perfect shade. And then the rest here for the base looks to be like a number four. So it's this beautiful chocolate brown. I think it's beautiful tones together for this. And... I just am in love with it. Oh, so vibrant. And look at that luster too. It's not looking costumey at all. It just looks like very healthy human hair. Uh, her texture is that really perfect balance of silkiness and coarseness. So she's not feeling uh, like doll hair or anything like of that nature. She's just feeling very realistic and very soft and natural and I definitely think this is a good multicultural uh, texture. Overall, for her length, I would probably say 14 inches. And again, she's inverted, so she has that perfect curvature here just to kind of, you know, bring it all in. I love how it hugs that. So it's a beautiful cut. I do think that's great. It's perfect. Uh, obviously, no layers, really. Just that perfect, perfect cut. I already said that, and I'm just saying it again, because why not? <laughs> I'm just going to. Uh, but let me go ahead and show you what she looks like from the back. All right, so her density is really good. Occasionally, the density can be off on bobs, and then it just looks like you have a helmet on your head, and I hate that, but... I don't see anything like that with her. It's just perfect density. Love that. And then just get that. Oh. Mm -hmm. That's fun. That is fun to do. Uh, so as I said, they're so easy to manage. Sorry, let me fix my chair here. But I mean, all you have to do is just run your fingers through her. I mean, obviously you could take a brush or comb if you want, but why bother? I mean, especially if you're out and about at work or wherever the case may be, why pull out a brush or comb when you can just... <laughs> there, you're done. That's it. And I mean, she pretty much stays in place too. I'm not really experiencing any flyaways, so she's not getting frizzy. She's just staying nice and sleek. Again, just so easy. Look at that. Effortless 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 this is a wig even in this color that i think you can wear for anything and to anywhere so i love that too about her um and also she's not really tangling i mean these types of units don't if you do experience any it's usually right at the back at the nape of the neck so just be a little cautious of that but it's shorter back there so they're very easy to remove um, and you're also not going to really notice any damage. But shedding, I haven't noticed anything with that either. So I have no complaints with it. I like too that she's a center part. Uh, I do really like center parts these days, especially for the style. I think a center part is perfect. Um, and four inches deep, great depth and width. 
absolutely no extra plucking I think is necessary at all. It's just perfect the way it is. Put some powder in there to blend and I think it lays really flat. So I always point that out because if sometimes wigs can lift up a little bit and then you have to use some got to be glued or whatever type of adhesive you prefer just to kind of push that down because you don't want it lifting up and then otherwise it's obviously going to look wiggy and you're not going to have that perfect blend. And sorry, my daughter was leaving. We have squeaky doors around here. Uh, so anyway, uh, so yeah, laying flat is very important. And she does have those baby hairs. And I love these. This reminds me of the wig I reviewed the other day from this collection. The baby hairs are just very soft wispies as I like to call them so I think it looks extremely natural and I mean if you like to lay them down there you go I think those are going to be really easy to do but for this type of style this is really all you need for baby hairs and some people don't like them at all which is perfectly fine this is just basically one of those styles I don't think you really need a lot of baby hair for uh, but I am really loving this naturalness of this hairline here uh, along the edges here, not bad either. I didn't even have to put any powder there. I think that blends wonderfully. She obviously has a little bit of lift up, you know, but you can see she kind of gets a little thicker down here. It's like she's got a tiny bit of pre-plucking there as opposed to what you see here. Um, and then obviously same situation over here on this side, but I do think this looks amazing right there. I do. I think some of these are my own baby hairs a little bit, but she's uh, curving around my edges perfectly, so that looks really natural too. If you want to tuck her behind the ear, obviously just take care of that lace there, but there you go. You can easily tuck her behind the ear and still have that look really good. Uh, she's fitting really comfortably and perfectly. Uh, I know I always save this for last, but... I have a little bit of OCD, so I go in a specific order. If you really haven't noticed that, I'm telling you. Uh, but yeah, she, I do think she's larger head friendly as well. This wig is great. Oh my gosh. I, like I said, I have a ton of bobs, but I think this one is probably going to be in my top five. There's absolutely nothing wrong with her. Everything is 100% perfect. And she comes in these gorgeous colors, especially this one in particular, I think is just over the top beautiful. So what else can I say other than thumbs up? Highly, highly recommend her. Oh my gosh, you cannot go wrong with this wig. Telling you main concept, you are on fire, especially with this collection so far. Um, there's some on here that really, isn't my cup of tea but I just may have to get them <laughs> if they're as good a quality as the this one on um Gemini that I reviewed yesterday then I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to but uh I would love to know your thoughts please be sure to tell me down in the comments if you already have her please let me know how you feel about her now that you have her. And also please be sure to let me know if you decide to go pick her up after watching this review. I always love to know that because some of you do and it always makes me happy that you're happy after buying it. So uh, that's really all I have for you today on her, but thank you so much for watching. I always appreciate it, but you have a great day and I will catch you next time in my next video. So until then, bye-bye. <laughs>